okay me and my wife just got home staying over by the in-laws and uh, I got a subscriber that sent me this some really nice size 6x Ooh, that thing's frozen to the ground there we go a 6x and uh well no wonder i couldn't see for sure that it was there because it's buried under snow oh it's wrapped all right <laughs> It's winter time, so I got that plastic sealed kind of keep the draft out. That's a good few inches of snow here. I should uh, look, even though it's only one degree out. The snow is turning into water. That's how strong the sun is. I should actually look under the hood and I haven't run this in a day or so. I'm afraid uh, antifreeze is kind of weak. Trouble in River City. <sighs> yeah. Look at that antifreeze. not frozen solid but it's like a slurpee from 7-eleven Put a little put a little heat under the engine. Maybe I plug that back in and put that under the hood. What? Did you hear the way that started? Yeah. See, this is where. I know, even if the antifreeze was perfectly fine, it's so cold out that you're creating problems for yourself. Trying to make machines run when it's this cold out. Especially if they're not well maintained. The cold is extraordinarily stressful on a vehicle. I'll let it run for maybe a minute just to a little ambient heat under the hood along with the really strong sun. It's only supposed to get up to about 4 degrees today. Which eh. <clears throat> you know what? Mother Nature is very strong and just get out of her way, let her do her thing. But my thing is with all the snow and I'm looking at the future forecast like all the way through into March and it's showing a lot of March is going to be rainy which means the compound is going to flood <laughs> so we're going to go from this to next month 
being sopping wet. You know, because this is all water too. This guy goes somewhere. If you think about it, all right, this is all going to end up in the Mississippi River and eventually go all the way down the Mississippi River down into uh, the Gulf of Mexico and become part of the ocean. It's kind of weird when you think about it. Smelling the, I don't know, the exhaust smells weird. Is that enough run time? That's enough run time for me back cold like that. I just wanted to create a few degrees difference under the hood and take the wife to work because she's scared. I just got this uh, I already tore it a little bit but trying to save room on the camera. Some advertisements and a packing slip or something in there. Like the company brand. Well, like a catalog. Okay. Huh. King size. What's the name of it? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> King size magazine. There you go. Now you have your own magazine? Yeah, I guess so, huh? This was packed pretty well because it was sitting on the porch under snow. It was not even... Under a lot of snow. Yeah. Look at me, not knowing how to... Look at that thing, it's like... What size is it? Least lined and all that. Well, I got this from a commenter on my uh, videos and stuff like that. King size, 6XL. Ooh. Remember, remember that? thing that you ordered and what was it like large it was a large? heated vest and i i ordered a 4x and it ended up being like eileen could wear it over a hoodie oh yeah it was too small i'm like that's not gonna fit me it probably well, was from china i'm yeah, not well, sure it was. i mean it was because the sides aren't equal so you know this guy is like saying well what size do you wear i go it's got to be a minimum it's got to be a 5x preferably even bigger than that because the way they do sizes now, <laughs> most of them are a big guy. Well, not you know. to mention this, it's really cold. You can put layers under it at least, True. you know. Well, let's try it on there. I'm horrible at like trying stuff on. I look like good. Like he has three arms. Yeah. I call this my John McCain arm because it's like hard to like lift beyond my shoulder. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Remember John McCain? The, Senator from Arizona, a Vietnam vet, he had like a hard time, like, where he couldn't, whatever. All right. Wow. That well, really he was in, fits good. He was in a Vietnam prison for like three or four years or something like Prisoner that. Prisoner of war being tortured. Yeah, they tortured him. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. Look at how a 6X fits me. It fits me just right. Like, I know a lot of people don't like the sleeves to like go that close, but I don't like this, you know, I, I coats if they're smaller, it's tight, and when you do that, it like rubs. Well, that's starts, like one of your biggest pet peeves, I know. Yeah. Plus, you can make turtle hands out of this like when it gets cold, because I don't yep. really like wearing gloves. You can do <laughs> and there's room in here to put another. Oh, look, at, there's a pocket inside, too. Later. Nice. Yeah, there's a little pocket in there. I didn't even see that. Room. And look how big the pocket is over here. Unzippable. See, that's good whenever your hands are full and you're walking right. in the snow, you can put your phone in there. Put keys in there or whatnot. And then they won't fall out. Yeah. Well, as long as you remember to zip it. They're in there. Why is the collar doing that? It does that on everything that they wear. Because you have no neck. <laughs> yeah. It like just goes, it just goes wherever it wants to. Look at the fashion that I got. I don't know, it's like that. Hey, dude, do you know your collars are? Like, 
and train the color to be. All right, I got this from a subscriber to my channel, and I have to thank you. I don't know. I don't have permission to mention his name, so I don't leave that off. But thanks, buddy.